Kia ora tato. we're in the week of Easter and what a wonderful time of the church's year this is. These are the events uh, that lie at the heart of Christian faith, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And this time of the year has allowed us to enter once more into the mystery of those things. Um, it's great today to be able to show you some images of the way in which we kept those uh, events of Holy Week and Easter in places around the diocese. Uh, many churches gather on Maundy Thursday, the Thursday night before Easter. Uh, they remember the Last Supper that Jesus shared with the disciples and people often hold a meal together before they proceed into a service that, that very often involves foot washing. Uh, Maundy Thursday gains its name from a Latin word mandatum, which speaks of a commandment, the new commandment that Jesus gave to the disciples that they should love one another. And foot washing is a, a humbling way of showing that, that loving service to others. On Good Friday, uh, the darkest day of the Christian year, a time for sombre reflection, uh, not only on the sufferings of Jesus, but in the way in which through them God shows solidarity with the human race. And so a time for us to reflect again on human suffering, our own part in it, and the ways therefore in, in which uh, we can mitigate human suffering and not be part of it anymore. Um, Saturday is often a quiet day, but either on Saturday evening or early on Sunday morning, Christian people gather and they begin to celebrate uh, the resurrection of Jesus. I know a number of places around the diocese held dawn services uh, this year. I know of, of at least one baptism at a beach early on uh, Easter morning. Baptism, uh, a wonderful symbol of the way in which we participate in the dying and rising of Jesus. Easter Day is the day of, of incredible celebration for this gift of new life which God has given us. It's all about Christian memory, uh, not just remembering things from the past, but by remembering those events, uh, it causes us to remember that God continues to be present with us in Jesus. And that's what our faith is all about. Not the memory of some founder of a movement, but the memory of a God who abides with us, who, who travels with us. I know a couple of uh, churches uh, have had labyrinths that have allowed people just to come in and quietly walk the labyrinth prayerfully on their own as a way of capturing that memory and of it being a point of reflection for them. Well, Easter week uh, goes on and we're allowing people to continue to reflect on the memory of God and therefore the memory of God's abiding presence. Uh, the Stations of the Resurrection being held at the Cathedral um, this week are allowing people to do that and there's been tremendous response to that. People have found it a, a wonderful and an inspiring interactive um, art exhibition to come and to take part in. Every blessing on you all as you celebrate this wonderful gift of life that is God's gift to us through the resurrection of Jesus Christ.